with me. On the mat. For some oh. reason, it never saves my mic as a source. Bum, 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 bum. Clicky, clicky, clicky. On today's stream, we have an extra person with us. Wow. So, uh, Bryce is here this week. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, finally. In my well, at this point, he's not really extra. He's, I know. he's, he's kind of here. He just wasn't here last week because of reasons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'm, I won't be. What was going on? Hey, uh, I think there was a... So how is, so, how is construction work? I think that was to you, Bryce. Uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm not in construction. No, nah, how was the construction last week? The construction last right. week. What? How when was the construction last week? The reason you were not here. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. Some kind of unintelligible. He slept through it. Ah. Uh, yeah, you could say I did. I... Wait, either that or he was so trashed that he completely was out of it. He doesn't even remember if he was asleep or not. So before we start... Uh... I, think was, uh, I was at one... Actually, two weeks ago, there was there was no stream. Oh, was, was there no stream? Two weeks ago. Because yeah, I was yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I said. I mean, there was no. Yeah. Last week there was. Two weeks ago there wasn't because I wasn't. So before we start, uh, how was everybody St. Patty's Day? Oh, you're cutting out again. Yeah, <laughs> I hate Skype. Um, so how is there... is... how was everybody St. Patty's Day? Well, same as any other day. I worked. Uneventful. Mm. Uh, I don't. I don't do anything for Patty today. I. I got punched pinching some chicks to Shiva. It was fine. I find the day offensive. <laughs> what the pinching or the drunkenness? The fact that people use as an excuse to be drunk when they aren't even Irish. Besides, Irish don't need a day to get drunk. Yeah. It's called, it ends in a day. Tuesday? Time to get drunk. Why? Because it's St. Patty's Day? No, because it's Tuesday. Well, I mean, it's not exactly true for everyone. Every Irish, though. I mean, yeah. I've got Irish. Of course I've, not. Never had a, I've never had a drink. So. I, I, am a I, haven't had, I haven't had any drinks since I was three. Hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey, I am exactly 0% Irish. 
You're just an alcoholic. No. <laughs> yeah, I've only I've only drank once, like unintentionally. It was uh, like back in a. Uh, uh, in in uh, one of my acting classes in college, there was a, a scene that in. Um, wait, how do I put it? There was prop wine, prop wine, and you thought it was you thought it was just no water. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It turned out to be a, a, a sh- turned out to be a little bit of schnapps mixed with water. It's and I. Uh, Well, last crap, I had a little taste of some kind of alcohol because I just wanted to see if it was as bad as it smelled. It was. And I didn't even actually sip. I just more like put my tongue to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And one time my uh, grandma put, uh, I used, uh, used whiskey for a chocolate cake. Yeah, doesn't count. It, yeah, it uh, unless you're it like doesn't. tugging it while you're you while you're while you're yeah. cooking, then yeah, no. Unless you're uh, truly a child, no, 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 that, no, that little for the food and then a lot for me. No, that, that, that cake is <laughs> terrible, really. It's... Well, I guess we should start. Hopefully, we can finish the thing today. They added yeah, another thing. We might finish the thing today. <laughs> Huzzah! Huzzah of the greatest caliber. Yeah. Well, that is... <clears throat> you never see the link to the um, thingy thing. Yes, I am on it. And I am monitoring the chat. If we get anybody who actually chats with us, I will be monitoring that. Because I know some people's computers get a little upset with that, and mine doesn't care. It's like, oh, two things? Whatever. I can do that. It's just, I can't watch the stream. You stay with me. It's, I have a speak. I'm on speaker. I'm on, my, I'm on my headphones, so I'm oh. good. I also could, you could just mute it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I probably do. Besides, who wants to hear my voice? Ugh. Yeah, no, it's right. also apparently it's also fangirls. Apparently. <laughs> Sadly, one of my fangirls can no longer attend these because of um, work scheduling. <coughs> well, it's a apparently good Hartinus thing. wants to hear all the voices. Well, it's a Who? good thing we post them on YouTube. The chat. <laughs> I'm monitoring the chat. Hartinus, oh. I want to hear all the voices. Well, we have lots and lots of voices. Good stuff. <coughs> Nice. I actually was scaring people at scaring somebody I work with with my voices. Yeah. I, I, I'm really I, I, I up. Oh god! Wait, we use. Hold on. Oh. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, my my own voice and uh, the Garage Band feedback was just out of sync for a moment. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 you scared someone with voices? Yes. Yeah, for example, do a Mickey Mouse voice and say, I'm coming to get you. No, no. <laughs> I'm oh, coming to get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm just gonna get you. Yeah, that's not scary at all. <laughs> but <laughs> you're sleeping and rip out your screen. <laughs> Yeah. Calm down there. Ah. I had a, I had a friend Stop in Stop talking my, over me! We will talk over you as much as we please. <laughs> 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 you please. 
<laughs> and now that we're quiet, to let him talk, he's like, Oh, uh, no, no, never, no, no, <laughs> never mind. It's, it's not very, it's not very important. You guys probably wouldn't give a crap. Yeah, uh, maybe. I usually don't give a crap about a lot of stuff. Especially, Dr uh, Maedrak. He seems constipated. Hey, well, hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he never gives a crap. <laughs> yes, and it's, and it's very hard. My bowel <laughs> movement. I mean, to lost the cabbage, stop it. I mean, to, to not let it stop. <laughs> One sec. Sounds like a pretty crappy life. It's time mm. back to stopping annoying so I can keep the door closed. Ugh. <clears throat> so, are we, what are we waiting on? Are we, are we Sorry. ready to go? Sorry, I'm back. here. Okay, I, I was waiting on the link, though. I'm the link to the story? No, the link to the stream. Oh, okay. Oh, stream. I can get to that. One sec. I got it. Oh, you do? Yeah, I got it. I'm the one who posted the link to the story. I would hope I have it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to pour a out of it. Ooh. Hey, guess what? I have great news. We oh. still have zero followers for our Tumblr. Huzzah! I know, right? <laughs> we got any more questions other than the joke when I submitted? Oh, that was you? Yes, that was me. I should have figured. <laughs> I should have figured. <laughs> I don't care about updating you right now. Oh, uh, Hartinus wants to see which Tumblr. Yes, uh, you yes. got a link? Tumblr? I have a link, one sec. But for reasons, I have to mini size the, uh, the stream. Yeah, I've been kind of lazy. I haven't really posted any of our old YouTube vids on on the Tumblr, but I'll do that after we're done reading. Okay. And there it is. Yep. Okay. Alright. Are we ready now? I am totally ready. Ready to I'm run. Ready. ready. I was ready before I was born. You were born? To the epic saga of King Sombra. Um, I was, you know, recording a cheese sandwich from uh, the episode of Pinky Pride. Jesus. Yeah, remember backstory. I, uh, you, you know, weird out. You know, weird owl. Yeah, I know. Time to tell my gritty backstory. Where is all this wind coming from? Once upon a time, Luna and I were totally in love, like for real. Are we getting the actual backstory or the flat out lies you sometimes pull out of your flank? Wait a second. I want the truth. So no lying and no exaggerating. Fine, okay, geez. Hey! <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a how princess. How did you meet Luna? Er, 
Sombra, was you a simple guard or the captain? I was once captain of the guard, sworn protector of the Crystal Princess. Dignitaries visited Crystal Empire often, Celestia and Luna most frequently. And though Luna enjoyed visiting the Empire, she was not always welcome at their political decisions. You would only find it dull, little sister. Of course. Which she did not appreciate. Did she even notice you? Considering we were just a lowly soldier back then. Did, did Luna really? even know you? Oh, go ahead. Did Luna even know you existed? In every visit, I was there to offer some sympathetic ear to her ear. Mm. Ire. Ire. Uh, Ire. Ire. Or some conversation to pass the time. And really, could you blame me for falling for her? What was your first impression of her? But of course, I never admit my feelings to her. It wasn't my place. She was a princess and I was just a guard. She was a prize worthy of a king. Mm, delicious magic. Scroll down. So was she partly the reason why you became king? So you became an evil king all to get closer to Luna? Is that why you killed, enslave, and torture for your title? For Luna? <laughs> Though my feelings for Luna added Healing to the fire. It was war and power that fanned it into flame. Shut up! Sorry, <coughs> annoying housemate. With the Empire at the brink of war and the Crystal Princess's princess too soft to see past her laughable delusions of peace and resolution, I researched alternate tactics. Where did you get such a book in the first place? And I was the only one brave enough to utilize all of our assets. You already know what happened after that. I waited for the princesses to come and avenge their fallen friend to steal back the kingdom I had claimed. What was her impression towards you taking the throne of the Crystal Empire? But it was only Luna that arrived with the fullest notion that our friendship might change things. All that did was prove her heart was so soft and weak at the as the Crystal Princess. And although it was weak, it was not a love corruption. Magical power is going down. Wine, Princess. No, just as well. A king deserves a queen by his side. I suppose you're here to stop me, but wouldn't you rather join me? No! We would not betray our sister! We would never! Never? But that's not what you told me. Sly dog, you really did try to sway Luna onto your side. Just think. Celestia Celest denies the responsibility you deserve. Your subjects bask in her sunlight and sleep through your moons. Whatever evil I've done was only for your sake. How did you try to corrupt her? There should only be one princess in Equestria, and that princess should be you. All you need to do is reach out and take it. So you shared your evil book with Luna? This... <clears throat> this is dark magic. But isn't the reward worth the risk? The night could last forever. And ever. No. No, we deny thee. Slam. We will, we will not suffer thine lies a moment more. We are leaving. 
This book should be locked up. Uh, locked back up or destroyed. Take it. Consider it a gift. If your power scared Luna, how did you convince her to take your book with her? Go go and have Celestia take care of it for you. Obviously, you're too weak. I wow, that, nice uh, read there. Hmm. Obviously. I had hoped she would take the bait to be swayed to my side immediately, but Princess Luna was not as weak as I had assumed. What did Celestia have to say about it? What happened after Luna had visited you? Mmm, tricky day. Is there going to be food on this table or what? We fought. Day one. But Luna seemed somewhat reluctant. Did Luna really want to banish you? Was she upset when she did? And if she turned evil later, then she must have kept the book. Is that how Nightmare Moon came about? She gave in. Oh, I think that might be Nightmare Moon. <clears throat> she <Hello>? gave in. <laughs> because of me. And what of the dead Luna mentioned? But I don't know what she could owe me for that. I think I do. Straight out. All the scrolling. I know, scrolling's magical. What on earth can Luna possibly owe to Sombra Coffee? Uh, what do you think she meant, CT? Nope, I'm lost. What brought about Luna's debt to Sombra? Well, even if it was kind of drastic way of doing it, you did sort of help Princess Luna mend her relationship with Princess Celestia. Eventually. Very eventually. I wonder <clears throat> why Luna always seems tense around you. Maybe she just misses her old friend. Sombra, you... You were her friend. You listened to her and was nice to her. I don't think many ponies did that back then. For lending in here for her complaints, I suppose. And I think she did value your friendship. At least before he decided to take advantage of it. So that's what I think she meant. Uh, so our friendship was a debt, and now it's repaid, meaning she totally hates me. Princess Luna hates what you became, Sombra. She liked who you were before. Are you sure you remember it good? In that time, you seemed a little more intelligent than now. What happened with that evil king that managed to corrupt one of the Alicorn sisters? Does someone notice the change in his intelligence and personality from how he was in his story? <clears throat> Speaking of who you were before... Som Sombra, were you far less doofy before being frozen and your brain is just slush now? Or was your bedtime story embellished a tad bit? Why are you so dumb now? <laughs> Excuse me? Coffee, I admit, while Sombra appears to be as dumb as a bag of hammers, I doubt he's going to answer your question if his feelings are hurt. What kind of question is that? A blunt but genuine one. The first step to fixing your frozen brain is admitting you have a problem, Sombra. What do you mean, excuse me? Sombra, it's obvious that you're not as smart as before. 
I'm not stupid, dear. Well, your first attempt to take over the Crystal Empire included regicide, political manipulations, mass hypnosis, and corruption. It took two Alicorn princesses and the elements of harmony to take you on. And even then, the best they could do was turn you to shadow and steal you away. <clears throat> During your second attempt, you were swished around, uh, oh, and you swished around and growled a lot. Then a baby dragon outsmarted hey. you, and you literally exploded from too many happy thoughts. Hey. I mean, I've actually been in your brain, and I can truthfully say it's pretty empty in there. Hey. But I think the main problem isn't what's in there, but who. Namely, but face. A thousand years of chipping away at it. A thousand years of whispering in his ear. He practically told me as much back on the mountain. Oh, oh, I know this answer. It's because of all butt face in Zombie's head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After a thousand years trapped in ice with only that thing for company? Um, wow, Shuffle's there too. Jeez, rude. CT, I think I'd go a little dumb after so long of being trapped inside my own mind, too. Right. Mirror. The phrase that insane, I think, is the right word for Sombra. I mean, look at it. His best friend was a shelf, after all. Well, you... Go ahead. Well, you used to be always clever and bright, and then you got turned into shadow, within a thousand years in the ice, and now you're a petulant child with questionable reasoning skills and a shelf obsession talking to himself. Well, isolation can't do many things to one's sanity, and dark magic must have its side effects, right? I can see how that might have lasting effects. I can pick my nose and my hooves. It's getting dark. Maybe we should set up camp. What does she know? I'm a king, not stupid. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> and the questioning begins. Did Luna pack some firewood for you guys? Maybe I should go talk to him. Maybe it's time to get rid of Buttface. You don't honestly believe what Buffaloft is saying to you. Maybe it's best you don't use the necklace again. Speaking of, does his little shadow come to visit tonight? Hey, Sombra. Wanna talk before bed? Yeah, what? I mean, uh, sure, whatever. So, you told Luna back there that you totally want to be a good guy now. Couldn't I just be a good king? I don't think being king again is an option. How about doing what you did before you were king? I murdered the last princess as guarding. I'm sure they let me do that job again. Well, do you have any other interests? Other talents? Other talents? Uh, let me check something. I don't think stupid would be the word. Lost seems more accurate. Heck, he doesn't even have a cutie mark. Sorry, Sonra. I had to bring that up. You're initially was a king, Sombra, but now you're just a regular unicorn who's weak and talentless. Unless stupidity is it. Oh, uh, wait. I'm a useless, talentless blank blank. I like your grit, coffee talk. Oh, come on, Sombra. You're really good at, uh, you've got a great sense of, um... See, I'm the worst. Being evil is the only thing I was ever good at. To be fair, you weren't really good at being evil either. You're not helping. And thus a page was completed. I know. And our adventurers... 
Sally forth to the next page. Yes. Wow, tea leaves and fusion. Are you trying to cheer him up or make him more depressed than ever? He's right, Coffee Talk. You're not helping. Okay, okay, I'm sorry for being a jerk, but listen to me. It's not who you were or who you are that... Uh, it's not who you were or who you are that matters now. What matters is who you will become. Only you can decide who that is. Hey, Sombra, don't worry so much. I mean, Luna had a rough start after the whole Nightmare Moon thing, too. You just gotta find your niche. If you were good at being evil, then wouldn't your cutie mark show it? Besides, if being evil really was the only thing you're good at, wouldn't you have a cutie mark reflecting that? Yeah, I guess. Being a blank blank means you still have potential. You can be anything. Why don't you try other things? You don't know what you're good at until you've given it a shot. No, hey, Stop don't you a good just... job, Mike. Sorry. Mm. Why don't you just uh, try try a bunch of stuff until your cutie mark appears? Uh, maybe you've never done what your special talent is. You've done a lot of bad things, yes, but you can always turn things around, you can always change, and you just need some help from a friend. Uh, I guess it's time to turn in. Yeah, I guess so. Night! Snap, <laughs> precious children. Sleep and pray that your demons slumber deeper than you were. Translation. Don't worry, baby. We're all here for you, and everything's gonna be all right. Ask your big evil friend for advice. Says so when has he ever steered you wrong? You can't believe actually. You can't actually believe any of that drivel. The culture kind of have like a sound effect thing whenever he talks. Come <sighs> down. No, it's bubble face. You can Chew. speaking into a cup is an echoey effect. Don't have one. No, go away, black cloud of evil. Your kind is not welcome here. Uh, go away. I'm trying to sleep. You find no solace in your dreams. I thought we had a deal. I thought you wanted to be some pony. I do. I just. Want to be? Want to be what? A peasant? You want? <clears throat> I want to stoop to the level of those you are born to rule. I thought you wanted to be a king. I do. I'm just pretending to be nice. Oh please! <clears throat> You're not that good of an actor. You're playing the part a little too well. You don't need some mayor telling you what to do. You need me. Only I can get you what you want. Well, I don't really see what I'm supposed to do. How can I take over Empire without my dark magic? Oh, is that all? I can help with that. My horn is repaired again, but keep it under wraps. So you can keep the upper hoof. Ooh, people. Ponies, but... Um, change there. I know who they are too. Hiatus details below. Ooh. And we're back. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Look us back. You're supposed to look red on duty, not bored. Sorry, it's just strange to have nothing crazy happening at every turn. I kind of miss it. Oh well. In that case, I think that bird watching, that bird you're watching, is drowning. Chatty. Oh, never mind. It was just uh, bubbling for ten dollars. That bird is pretty hot. 
I wonder how coffee in, is doing with Sombra. Somewhat. Oh, nothing. Just lamenting some dirty sombrero I uh, forgot in the snow. <laughs> okay. This is a where are they now section. I know, it's kind of cute. Mm hmm. Oh, I... Oakleths, the elf that ushered in a new gold elk age of peace. Oh, uh, the terrible, terrible elk puns. <laughs> the princess of my. Elkanor. Uh, the princess of my heart. <laughs> so cute. Heart! I just had to say hot. Oh. Um, I'm not sure. Is it supposed to be? I think uh, Wister's dude. Is, uh, I'll take it. Is, come on, Wister. Someone's trying to sleep. Uh, Strange dream. Hmm? Is that... I'm still hearing music? I thought it was just... Okay, it may turn out to be. It's actually a mare. It's a very oh, well, I'll movie. continue to read it. Okay. <laughs> it's coming from the reeds? They whistle with the breeze? Fascinating. For the attention of the Royal Equestrian Botanist Society. Illustration description and seed specimens of planting closed. Further specimens will be sent by courier to latest convenience. Whistler Reed. Fly safely, little Linnaeus. I know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Meanwhile, some are far away, some characters that haven't been seen in a while. This crystal tree is so slippery. How are we going to hang ornaments? Hang ornaments? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile! <laughs> oh, it. My dearest Pearly Warl. My return to Las I Vegas. I think that's a female. <laughs> purple, so it's not Sombra. No. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a no, stage wall I just checked ahead. Okay. Hey, Let's pick this unicorn. <laughs> uh, you ever heard about about unicorn and how it? Yeah. Totally mm. failed. Yeah. Moving on. My dearest. Him... Good. My dearest pearly world, my return to Lost Pegasus was a resounding. <laughs> Mom, this is boring. Where's the bathroom? Doesn't, Doesn't it bother you? Go ahead. Doesn't it bother you when the fools are out of control? Knowing, knowing who, no, knowing who this mysterious magician is is far more annoying. A resounding success. It would be great if you came and seen one of my shows. Who is that? I want ice cream. I need attention. He, he's alive! By Celestia! Hey, wasn't he... Less handsome? Dead? Oh, Glam, I love you! Las Pegasus is an amazing <coughs> city. Oh, oh, sorry. <coughs> and I'd love to show you around as well. Bye for now, Alcaglam. P.S. I included this year's calendar. I signed every page. Alcaglam looks <coughs> like a dude, not a chick. Well, from the smaller thing, and from I only saw up to the halfway point with the sparklies. Although he looks like the type of dude you want to slap. Kind of looks like a man bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Mm, now, completely it. silent comics. Yes. And now to the reading comics. We've all found some different ways to settle back in with normal life. With Pearly's help, I've started knitting. There's a lot to learn, but I'm picking it up fast, and it's lovely to have the company. I think Wait, that was supposed to be the 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 same mayor. voice. Me. It, er, no, oh, I, I, th I thought it was that red. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought at first. And then I noticed the knitting needles. Wait, is, like, that a, oh, is that a okay. is that a mirror or a stallion? Oh, the red. I think it's a dude. I think red is is dude. I oh, know, and he looks 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 like he pass off as gay. No offense. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. You think I he's think a dude? It's this Okay, I think it's a mare. Go on to the second page. Yeah. The second frame. We'll pick up whatever we can. Yeah. Uh, is that the first voice or the second? I think, uh, I think it's, the, it's the same person narrating through the entire yeah. thing. So, the same pony. It's a mare. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah. Of course not and everyone can pick up the hobby. The princess has been very encouraging in getting a support group running. It's been incredibly cathartic for some of our members to get the chance to talk. Though some of us are needing more time than others. Hmm. And so our adventures may pass the next page. Wow, it's like the fastest page we've ever done. <laughs> Because half whole... of it was words. <laughs> yeah. Last time on Ask Sarah. <laughs> so my horn getting healed wasn't a dream. Did you Wait. say something? Uh, are, are you, you really gonna keep another secret, Sombra? Just uh, comment. Commenting on how lovely a morning it is. Sunrise are like breakfast cereal made of poultry. Okay. So, what's the plan, Tan? I'm not Tan. I'm more of a tawny cathelet. Ugh, never mind. I'll, I was I'll, going over the map. And it looks like we'll be back at the fork in the road today. You know, the point where you got us super lost and we end up in the territory of snow leopards? Technically, you led us into them by backtracking. That's not anyway, the... it's now time to continue our journey to the Crystal Empire. Do you have to pose every time you announce that? It is essential. Hey, Sonoma, did you check to see that if there were, in, if there were anyone else around? It could be some wild creatures at the night. Are you sure you guys are alone? Seems as you're being watched. Seems that two particularly menacingly mysterious legs are following you guys. Following us? Summer, do any of these questions make any sense to you? No, but they're freaking me out. What wacky adventure are all heroes be getting into this time? It's been hours. This is boring. Honestly, I'm just surprised you're still carrying those bags. You haven't seen the Crystal Empire without Kingsley, have you? Not that I think about it. No, I haven't. I only caught a glimpse of it before Sombra kind of snatched me up in this whole smoke cloud thing. But you I saw a couple of crystal photos back at the Kingsley. Crystal Wolf Caves. It would be beautiful to see an entire city. It's the same one. But I saw a couple of crystal ponies back at the Crystal Wolf Caves. It would be beautiful to see an entire city of shimmering ponies. Yeah, more like super bucking and all dumb crystal ponies. Which reminds me. Why are you suddenly this excited to go back to the Crystal Empire? <clears throat> you were grumpy about it yesterday. Sombra, Coffee Talk will know sooner or later about your horn. What do you plan on doing? 
Because I am just so excited to be a good guy. I apologize. Well, I don't believe that's the answer. I can't say I wasn't expecting it. But hey, look, there's the rock and the sign. We're back on the right track. Path. Path. I've heard it both ways. Eh, Whatever. Either works. <laughs> they don't actually see these. It doesn't matter. Come on, Sombra, let's go! Hey, not so fast. Where are we anyway? Now might be a good time to turn around! Copy talk! Look out! Sombra, look behind you! Oh, this is a female, just to let you know. Okay. Okay. I can answer that. Reveal your face, hooded stranger! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's the pony in the hood? Uh, who is that? Who are you? Stranger danger. There are more there pressing are more questions, pressing right, questions right, right now. Such right as, now, who such the as, heck? Oh, what the you? heck are you? Oh, did you listen to me there? <laughs> My name is... Pun Pony! Oh, Pun great. Pony! Royal, <laughs> Royal Tuponimist of Equestria at your service. Wait, I've seen you around Ponyville before. What are you doing all the way up here? Here. Well, I'm working on a research paper on the local toponymy of, and I was interviewing some mountain goats about the proper names of their territories. What did they say? Not much, but that's their way. A lot of the names are just descriptions made to sound fancier. For example, Telerock is just tall rock. Laplin is just low plain. Uh, Loplin is just low plain. What do they call where we are now? Chateau. <laughs> I don't think I have to explain that one. Yeah, I'm not again. <laughs> so what are you guys? Uh, so who are you guys, and what are you doing all the way out here? Well, I'm Coffee Talk, and this is... Kingsley. And we're here... Returning over to library books. Yes, and we're... To the, getting the, the Crystal, crystal Empire out. to return them. Sure, whatever. Nailed it. You go. Going to the Crystal Empire? Rock on! So am I! Oh, Pon Pony, I get it now. <laughs> the Crystal Empire is this way, right? Hey, you said he knew where you are. I do! Within a couple hundred miles. Huh. Oh no, not her again. Everywhere I look, another adventure with puns. Oh well, why is she headed to the Empire? So what might you be doing to the Crystal Empire for, um... Pun? Why are you headed back to the Empire, Pony Pony? Has the trail gone cold? Oh, I need to settle conflict over naming a new pavilion. Oh, thrilling. Would you excuse us for a moment? Hey! Sombra, don't trust her. She's a librarian. They're true evil. So many late fees. Sir, I'm not sure you should trust this pony. Let's fluff him off. We should get rid of her. Sombra, don't trust her. I don't trust her. You sound like Drizzle. We can't let her follow us to the Empire. <coughs> Relax. We'll find a reason to go to our separate ways, but we can at least point her in the right direction. Considering this part of your I'm night consider this part of your I'm nice now training. Mm. Well, we can help you get on the right path. We have a map. That's great, thanks! 
It's lucky you ran into us, though. There's no pony out here for miles. But there was two stalkers. Did you feel that strange feeling that's like somebody is water? Watching you. What pony would be so low as to work with a changeling? Do I possibly smell a changeling? <laughs> I can take it. Um, what, what about me? Oh, you go. Well, we can take one of them. Uh, we He's in them. yellow too. <laughs> oh wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Is, uh, that, is that a new king? Is that another king? There's two. There's two characters there. Um, I both look male. So, which one do you want? The changeling or the? I think I want to take the royal because I I, I kind of like I'll doing do, the royal. I'll bit. do. The, I'll do the changeling. All right. Is go that ahead. Him? Is that him? Yes, that's our target. King Sombra, back from the dead. How can you be so confident from this distance? There's purple smoke pouring from his eyeballs. Of course it's him. I don't think changelings really have a gender. No, I don't think so. Now let's go over Except the for the queen, of course. True. Now let's go over the plan again. What? You don't trust me? No, not particularly. You'll approach Sombra with our deal. And if he resists, you'll use your... My ability is to cloud his judgment and sway him to our side. I know. Good. Now let's go. Whatever. Ahem, <laughs> excuse me. Have you met the elk? Uh, have you met the elkish king yet? I think you'd like him. I'll make sure to. Careful, these guys could be trouble. Greetings. My name is Supremus Longhorn, and this is my business associate. We've been searching for you for a while now. Um, Ugh. More. More ponies? This is certainly a popular section of the middle of nowhere. Anyways, hi, I'm, my name is Coffee Talk, and you must be... Uh, get away from me, you filthy dirt hoof. I was addressing the unicorn. I want to slam him. Your Highness, uh, we have a proposal for you. Your leg is shiny. Stop that. Oh great, a pony with a laser leg. <laughs> Be back Wednesday. I'm a hippo. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, five nights at Freddy's. Well, it's about time. Get the hell out of there. But why? I don't see any... A giant duck! I want to keep this! Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell uh. I'm already hitting these new guys. I'm supposed to do that, right? He's a racist. Is that... Racism in the air, I smell. Casual equestrian racism. Nice. The laser leg is a jerk. Racist much? That guy's a racist. Don't trust him. Uh, let's not get uh, distracted from the main topic. Uh, so, what is this deal? What does he want from Sombra anyway? Well, sire, unicorn superiority is obvious. That's racist. Ding! Dirt hooves, feather brains, it's in their nature to be ruled. We have a 
duty to return them to the natural state. These creatures excel at physical labor. It would be cruel to deny them the opportunity to engage in it. These bags are getting pretty heavy, hey. and the crystal ponies were super good mind slaves. The alicorn tyrants lord over us, but the alicorns are not of Equestria. Equestria should be ruled by Equestrians. They hold us hostage with the sun and moon, but we still have the spells to move them the natural way. The unicorn way. That's probably why they beat me before. Because they're unnatural. Can you see it? A world where we unicorns rule above the lesser beings. Why be a mere king when you can be a god? Uh, hey, pun, that rude unicorn. Does his coat color and lack of appendage ring any bells? You of all ponies should recognize what the green pony really is. Pun Pony, do these two look familiar to you too? Hey Pun, I think you know that hoof, or should I say, missing hoof. Be careful. Uh oh, that's the guy that got his hoof chipped off with Pun. Ooh, leave this guy. Hmm. A lot of hoof prints. Uh, my head feels kind of funny. Like you've got a head in, like you've got your head in the clouds. Maybe because what they're saying is not so it is so not funny. It hurts. You should wrangle your ward away from these weird elves. Hey, CT. I'm fairly certain he's racist, so you should just take somber and leave. What's going on? I know what is going on. I don't know. Hey. Bryce, wake up. Ah, uh, 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 sorry. Uh, ending your conversation with the brute force just shows you can't find anything worth uh, with what we're you're, not we're on saying. That part. We're not on that part yet. CG, you're on! Stop Sarah from doing something stupid duty again! Do you guys have business uh, cards? Look me up on Hoofbook. Alright, that's enough. We're leaving. Bryce? I. I. Uh, 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 ending a conversation with brute force just shows you can't find anything wrong with what we're saying. Nice try. But I'm not fighting. Just stop and reconsider. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Coffee talk. It sounds completely irrational. Drag the stupid stallion and run. Run as fast as your earthly legs can take you. Don't listen to them. Think like Grizzlewood. Coffee Mark, snap out of it! Oh no, cop! Oh no, coffee, snap out of it! No, CT, fight it! That's. can't. Come on now, don't make this difficult. Oh, that's alright, you seeing what he's doing to coffee talk? Stop him! Oh no, quick, Sombra, help CT! What did he do to her? Unicorns are the best. It all makes total sense now. Dominus is really helping her realize the truth. <laughs> Pun, mind control alert! What do we do? Pun, Pun? Pony, do something! Now for the other one. Well, time to put this antidote to the test. Alright, don't blow pun. 
do your thing and do it well. Engage the epic fight music. Incoming agent. 707. Pun, I do believe it's your turn to step in. Pun, quick. Buck the green one in the face. I don't have the equipment or backup. <laughs> It's not such a- I'm not such a badass that I can take out the two of them, possibly three, by myself. But you know what they say, if you can't beat them... Pun Pony save copy talk! Join them, then beat them when the guard is down. Herder. Unicorn ponies are best. You see... Typical dirt hoes, they're happiest with a bag on their backs. Now, to business. I believe our first move should be to take down the Alicorns. You're headed to the Crystal Empire, well, correct? Well, yeah, but... Well then, let's get going! It's rude to keep royalty waiting. Next page. And so the adventurers cross to the next page. Dun dun dun! Come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. My page is still loading. Okay, it's done now. Well, Sombra, seems you're not exactly happy with coffee being mind controlled, are you? Sombra, you look a little worried there. Sombra, you know this isn't right! Does Dominus really have to do the whole hypnosis thing on her? Do you have a problem with hypnosis? Orgy here is a bit bossy. Who's in charge here, Sombra? You or Glitterleg? This guy seems to be trying to one-up you. Are you really going to go roll with this? Isn't he getting a bit bossy? Well, no, but... Didn't you make liberal use of hypnosis during your reign? In my research, it appears you regularly used it to keep your subjects in line. Coffee Talk's very mind has been enslaved, Sombra. If you gave her a command, she would willingly obey. No more snarky comments. Or friendship. Are you happy with this? Because it's all you can look forward to if you stay on the dark path. Sombra, if you like coffee talk in any way, you'd help her. On my slaves, yeah, but not on my, my... What's this? Hmm, I wonder if this cave goes all the way through. Would be easier than going around or over the mountain. Actually... So there is a path to these caves. Oh, wait, okay, that's... Uh, it's, no, that's Pun Pony. They're so similar in color. The first line uh, is Pun Pony. Actually, Master, there is a path through these caves. How would you know that? She, like, makes maps or something. <sighs> hmm. Well, at least you're being of some use. Hmm. Strange. Oh, don't worry about that, Master. These caves are just to mess with unicorn magic a little. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> and by mess, I mean disables. Changeling magic, too. Play dumb for now, at least until we find an opportunity to get the upper hoof. I feel super gross. Splash! Speaking of which... Is it okay to laugh at a racist cripple? Because we're going to laugh at a racist cripple. <laughs> I have to feel like my unicorns get up and go. Just got up and went. I can stand on three legs perfectly fine, thank you. I use magic. I do not depend upon it. Sombra, are you, are you, are you going to let us all... Let, sorry, 
So, Sumber, are you just going to let all those delicious looking crystals remain uneaten? Crystals. Uh, hey, Sumber, what kind of crystals are these? It was. him. I know this trip is good. Yeah. Going at a glacial pace, but that's just ridiculous. What? Is this your secret weapon? He's an idiot. But he's powerful, and at least he's sympathetic to our cause. Thanks. Thanks, Croggy Pots. I am hella stuck. Your rare earth poly strength is pretty useful. Fight back, boy! Even as you keep your friends out of his ears, are you going to let him take them? Like a princess took your empire? Sumber, are you going to just let this guy boss you around? Sai, so do not thank the help. Besides, how dare you let a filthy dirt earth touch you? It should be punished for its presumption. Sumber, you are a king. Longhorn presumes much of your support. Were you about to say Coffee Talk is your friend, Sombra? Hey, don't talk that way to my friendly co-traveler. If you're going to keep being a dick, maybe I won't help you guys after all. That was almost nice. You won't have a choice. Wait, wait, that was it. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Oh, uh, wait. Something's wrong. Why is this working? Why is your disguise? It's this plastic cave! It's... You are gonna pull that crap on me. You are going to try and warm your way into my mind? And beat butt face? Oh, heck no. You're not gonna let that slide, are you? This mind... I think you struck a nerve with Sombra! Sombra? It's all mine. So what is stronger? <gasps> Uber's magic? Or the dappling crystals? This was a fool's errand! I'm done with you, bowhead! How dare you! He's going to hurt them. He's going to hurt them bad. So oh, get ready to taste that dark, magical wrath. No, no, no. Yes. This peasant plan to use you like a toy. That's your job. Destroy him. That's a nice magical leg you've got. Let's see how many you can make. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Coffee Top, are you okay? I I think so. Something exploded. I slipped and hit my head. What happened? Heads up, incoming. Heads up is not a thing I can do right now. Deja vu. Oh God. That's another one. Well, that errand cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> I'm not without mercy, Longhorn. I'll let you choose what I take next. Hey, Smokey! Sombra, no, if Hokey Puck finds you gotten your magic back, it's all over! You might want to wrap it up and wrap it up. Sleeping Beauty is waking up. Is but really aware of Coffee Talk presence here? Sombra, you just injured CT. Oof, Middlesome there just doesn't know when to stay down. Ugh. Oof, Did someone just ripped off Dickhead's leg? Ow, that had to hurt. Yeesh, did I do that? 
Emergency recall. Get me out of here. Wait, <laughs> no. Lord dear Celestian, that's a leg. Oh, just as well. A responsible mountaineer <sighs> leaves nothing behind. Even if it's part of a behind. Oh, if he's bleeding, somewhere do something. Coffee talk, you okay? No, I'm okay. I'm just a lump. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> uh... Coffee pun, take down the changeling. Are you just going to let that good for nothing changeling get away? We'll catch up with you later. But first, we need to catch up to a changeling and do a quick power up montage. You need a montage. But pun, won't the changeling be long gone by now? I pursue the presumably flying changeling. Coffee talk. Grab some of those shards. We saw the changeling's real form. He can't... He's not just going to walk... Uh, he's not going to just let us walk away. Okay. Ice butt. I think you've done enough for now. So you don't have the budget for another cool magical girl montage. We spent it all on a fog machine. Good <laughs> Maybe, maybe there's some snow leopards around. I can get under my thrall and as a backup. I'll select the round one first this time. She's clearly more important than the brown one. Hey, bug brain! Just to be perfect, uh, just to be crystal clear, you're about to get wrapped. How do you like Earth Ponies now? Funny thing about clouders, they're terrible swimmers. Ah, uh, nice to be clothed again. Crystals are surprisingly chilly. Well, now that that's taken care of, when I was unconscious back in the cave, what happened? Why do you have a leg in your saddlebag? Well, uh, you see, um... They tried to use too much magic in the cave, causing a resonant reaction to the crystals. Kaboom! Uh... Right, Kingsley? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, that, that is what happened, in fact. Mm -hmm. Gee, this pun pony seems pretty chill about this turn of events. It's almost like she's not who she says she is or something. But that would be preposterous! Psst, pun. You should tell them you're a lunar guard. Okay, listen, Red Horse, we need to talk. And you need to invest in breath notes. <laughs> it's not that bad. Sick bird. You clearly haven't smelt it. <laughs> Later at the Night Guard headquarters. Agent 707, you've returned early. Wait, what? What? Did I skip one? Yeah, I think you yeah. did. Oh. What would be the tr trade in return, okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, in return for keeping his secret pun? So is pun on Sombra's side? Why are you covering for me, especially after what you saw? You got out. Did you finish? Yeah, I did. Okay. What? You just gave me a helping hoof. I'm just returning the favor. Go stop <laughs> it. And I mean that literally. Besides, I have no real uh, no reason to compromise an asset that owes me a favor as big as your stout. 
Well, since we found the crystal cave, I know where we are now. There's a few steps I need to make before the crystal empire. So I think this is where we part. But before I run off, I just wanted to let you know that you two are very valuable to the future of Equestria. Why is Chalky Hawk valuable to Equestria? Wasn't talking about her. It was fun kicking butt with you, Coffee Talk. Just keep in mind. Next time you're in town, we should get coffee and have a conversation over it. Oh, ha ha. I get a feeling you're really good at that. Goodbye. Have a nice journey. She never said that she has a leg in her bag. Wasn't that our bag? Okay, now, yes. later at the Night Guard headquarters. Agent 707, Hi. you've returned early. Hey, guys. Oh, wait, that's a wait. nightmare. Yeah, it's still pun. Hey, guys. What of your Crystal Empire journey? It, among other things, was cut short. Though, I did run into the leader of the Unicorn Supremists. I think Bright should take this one. Yeah, green yeah. text. Uh, out there? Uh, how are you so sure? Just call it a hunch. Or should I say, just a haunch. Slam. Is that another one of his legs? Oh, what happened to bringing him in? I said I'd bring him in. I never said I'd do it all at once. <laughs> <laughs> she survived the trauma of the amputation? He lost both left legs, so I say he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Horrible. <laughs> What's with all the whispering? Did she tell Coffee Talk? So, what did Pun tell you, CT? Cubans. <coughs> Keeping secrets from your old pal Kingsley? For shame! What were you two whispering about? Did you say yes. something? Cause I did. Oh. No, I did. What were you two whispering no. about? None of your business. Homebrew has perhaps possibly placed something inside Puffy Pot's pouch. Hey, cappuccino conversation. Did Pun just slip something into your bag? I think that's my favorite yes. name so far. Yes. What? She slipped something into my bag? Did Pun slip CT a little something something? Expressive discourse, what did Pun just slip into your bag? Oh. Thanks for lending me your bag. Would have been a mouthful trying to carry it around, uh, around the leg without it. In exchange, I thought it, you could find a way to use my compass. P.S. I left you supplies near the river. Go north. Pun. Wow, a compass. That was nice of her. Give me anything rude. Hey, Blocky Smug, do me a favor. Check your inventory. And here's the rest of the supplies. Wow, these bags can fit a lot. But now we're only down to one. Um, uh, magic, duh. There's Sombra, that was your bag. There's only one bag to carry, which means... That you can carry it for the first leg of the trip. Leg puns are banned forever. So, on the road again, I presume. Coffee, do you still have the map? Well, at least Supremus and Changeling were leading us towards the... 
Crystal Empire. <laughs> so earlier, I wanted to thank you for standing up for me to that guy. That was unexpected. And you said something else back there. What was it? I'm your friendly mm -hmm. co-chapter. That's step up from acquaintance. Well, that guy's a jerk, and you're kind of useful sometimes, like carrying stuff and not letting the princess like immediately kill me and junk. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Meeting those two gave me a bit more hope for you, you know? You're actually improving. As far as sort of evil, friendly co-travelers go, I guess I could have done worse. Well, you're, uh, you're not the worst either. No, that's the nicest thing you've ever said. Thanks, friend. Don't push it. <laughs> Want me to carry the bags now, friend? I'll take it back, I swear to God. Oh, yay! Is that page. it? Nope, next page. page. Uh, I think it's like 38 pages now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll still my things loading. Okay. Hey, it's go. getting dark out. Maybe you should get a fire going. It's freezing! Start a fire! Light the fire up in the night. Yeah, you're probably right. But how should we s I got this. Back it up, back it up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these fun- th these gifts are awesome. I know, I love them. King's the dearest, I'm sure, little magic capable of making a fire, no? So we all know that you don't care about the cold, but Coffee Talk does? Perhaps you should start a fire for her. And? Let's oh, be fire. Well, at least he didn't work. <laughs> Your roof is getting kind of full, isn't it, Cotton Rocks? Maybe I should stop storing everything in here. What's the crystal you have, Coffee Talk? Use Luna's necklace against that orange guy. Princess Luna said the crystal is for when my need is greatest. But I don't want to waste it. But she, she said if Sombra gives me trouble, I can always contact her in my dreams. I hope she doesn't contact me in my dreams by surprise. I uh, don't really have control over what happens in those. Oh, Good night, yeah, Sombra! Mm -hmm. Yeah, night. Okay, you guys. Need some rest now. A night never seems to go by without something happening. Aww. Finish mingling with the peasant. Actually, I'm glad you're here. Sombra, you need more control over that dark magic of yours. Sombra might want to keep butt face in check while around other ponies. We need to have a talk. Show down. So Sombra, is that bubble just soundproof or are you actually protecting Seeking? A safety shield or a noise shield? Oh, you shielded her. You do care. What's that? A protection spell? How ch chivalrous. Well, oh, no. She normally get a force field when she sleeps? I don't think that's normal. It's to make sure she doesn't overhear us. I'm quite curious, Coffee Talk. What exactly do your dr do you dream about that you don't want Luna contacting you? So, what's Coffee Talk dreaming about tonight? Why, of course I accept your highness. 
I'll be the best princess of journalism in Equestria. Please have a seat, my evil Miss Sombra. We need to make a serious discussion about certain things. Now, about what happened back in that other cave with the unicorn. On the bright side, Buttface wrecked that unicorn supremacist ass quite thoroughly. On the other hand, do you actually want him to come out? Did I? Did you? Did we rip his leg off? Oh. Not cool, man. You should probably mention that he ripped off a leg. They were trying to control you. We wouldn't have that. Wait, did you not coffee talk out deliberately? So when Trophy Case got knocked out, it was your fault? You did it on purpose? It was only for your sake. I had to protect your secrets somehow. You know that dark magic should be yours to control. Right now it looks like the other way around. Do you honestly believe you have any leverage over Buttface? You wouldn't want her telling to Luna about your dark magic being back, would you? You should obey your big shadow. I mean, he's your only ally right now. Wouldn't you? No, that's right, because I... Sorma, don't let your dark side take up. Well, who knows what he could make you do? Sombra, don't let the dark side of you take over. Be strong! No, I mean, no. No to you. Aw, oh, snap, face to butt face. Lay down the law, zombie. You're supposed to listen to me, not the other way around. No more possessing my body, no more knocking out my friends, no more ripping off limbs. Not without my say so. Time to show his this dingus who's boss. You tell that shadow what for. It was for your own good no. It's not your decision to make, it's mine. It's not his right to take control whatever he wants. Prove to Luna and everyone else you're in control. Are you going to get rid of me? You need me just as I need you. But Faith has helped you in the past, Sora. Casting you out isn't a very good idea. At least not yet. No, not yet. I still need my dark magic, but... I'll be making my own decisions for a while. Sorma, show who have the pants in this host nightmare relation. The this magical pa this magical parasite needs a willing host. Maybe you could give it a reminder. Crack. Off to the timeout corner he goes. When he'll be back, nobody knows. He'll come crawling back, y'all. Go, Sora, putting your dark magic self in his place like a boss. The, the king, even. Yeah, show that bud who's, who's the boss. Hint, it's you. You go, King Zara. Finally taking control of the better way. Woohoo! Way to go, Sombra! I hear that spooky smoke who's the boss in this relationship! You're the best, Sombra. You did it! Oh, Shell. Elf. Yay! Sombra? Sombra? Sombra, wake up! New morning, new Sombra. Sombra, are you awake? Well, now I am. Can you explain what that thing is? Uh, fuck. Quick, come up with an excuse! <coughs> Quick, think an idea! Yeah, about that. It's a bubble, obviously. It's a 
magic bubble. Well, I can see that. How did I get here? Just tell you we're trying to keep her safe. Say it was to protect her. It's technically not lying. It's a shield, yep. Totally just a shield to uh, protect you. Uh, yeah, I made it to protect you from bad stuff because I'm a nice guy. You made it with your uh, broken horn? With your magic you supposedly can't use? How are you going to get out of way with this one? How are you going to explain this one? Yeah, about that. It uh, healed last night while you were sleeping. Guess the old Elk King's magical fountain has some lasting effects. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Option A, tell all the true like the new somber that you are. Option B, lie like always you do. And look, it's just stone magic. I definitely can't do dark magic. No, not at all. <laughs> well, if that's true, then I guess that's okay. I should probably let Princess Lou. Great, it's settled. Uh, let's get going then. Woohoo. The things to do, places to be, roads to recovery. Well, we still have to pack our bags and. Wait a second. Hey, this is your necklace? Wait one second. I got the right one. I. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, alright, there we go. Why can't you do dark magic without butt face? I mean, it's simply magic after all. Uh, sure, let me just take a couple years to study and learn dark magic on my own. Butt face is the dark magic, so if I want to use it anytime soon, I still need him. Cut out pretty oh, severely man. there. I, I well, read it. Why can't you do dark magic without butt face? I mean, it's simply okay. That's the same. Way. Yeah. Or honestly, would... yeah, honesty would honesty would be best here, Sombra. After all, you did something good. Let truth be told, Sombra. Tell Coffee the truth. You know she would be proud of what you did. And I can't tell, Latke Locks. Lock about what I did. She can't know that I still have access to dark magic. She kn she know I didn't get rid of Buttface for good. Unless you have wish to give honesty a try. Do you? But after this, I really am going to give honesty a try. I'm honestly going to be honest all. What happened to your necklace, Sombra? Oh, fuck. Say you stepped on your necklace by accident. Oops, I broke it. Quick, say you must have accidentally stepped on it. What? Did you roll over it in your sleep? Uh, yeah, that does sound probable. Nailed it. I'll just take that back. Oh dear, I hope this doesn't mean Buttface can get a hook in coffee talk. Evil coffee activate! Let her, let her pick up the medallion and get possessed by evil spirits. Come on, pick up that necklace and get possessed! No, that can't happen. It wasn't inside the amulet, but Fizz was just using it as a way to communicate with me. He's stuck in my head. But I will think I'll hang on to it, just in case. Strong down. Yeah. Coffee Chalk, are you really going to believe Sombra after everything he did? CT, surely you have a you're surely you are a bit suspicious of your traveling companion this morning. Hey, Coffee Talk. Isn't Sombra acting a little strange to you? 
You're making coffee suspicious. Give me some credit. Of course I know he's lying. But it's just easier to go along with it. If he really was not evil, then why would he still have that delicious eye jelly? Come on, big news. Jawabat's a journalist. She's going to figure it all out eventually. I'm guessing he could, probably can still do dark magic, but I don't think there's too there's much harm in pretending I don't know. Yeah, at least for now. There's still time before we reach the Empire. Time to help him decide if that's what he really wants. Probably help if I knew more about him. At least who he was before all... Uh, was before went all dark magic. And I think I know just how to do it. Oh, Samra! Feeling like talking about your favorite thing? Which is... Yourself! Hmm, I do like myself and shut up phone. Perfect, because it's time for the return of that, that quick. quick. Marie Snappily answer your frequently asked questions. Wow, it feels like two years since that happened, because it probably has been two years. Sombra, have you considered absconding with your retake the Crystal Empire plan in favor of opening a mildly successful chain of crystal sandwich shops? Alright, let's answer some of these questions. First off, what's the deal with you eating crystals? Can you recall the first time you first ate a crystal? In fact, why do you love eating crystals so much? Did you eat Did crystals before you went all spoopy dark magic act? Dear Sombra, how did you learn that crystals were delicious? As a pony and not a crystal vore, I, I doubt it was a whim. I don't know, they taste good. Did you always eat crystals? Yeah, I ate the edible crystal pony kind, crystal berries, crystal corn on the cob. Were you born with those fangs? Do they scare away the dentists? I only really... Oh, sorry. I only started eating real crystals after I went all evil and got fangs. They're pretty good at crunching through rocks. I'm amazed by your glittery smile. Who does your dental? Dear Samba, at this point we all know that your flanks is barely the Arctic North. But did you ever have a cutie mark? Did you used to have a cutie mark? So, Sabra, back when you were a mere, more normal pony doing normal pony stuff, even back when you didn't have a cutie mark? Ah. Uh, the age old question Did you used to have one? Maybe it disappeared? Nope. Always had a blink blink. Sabra, so, how did you get to such a high ranking god? That's really impressive, seeing as it isn't your special talent. Samba, why do you think you never got a cutie mark like Kofi Taruku-chan? It wasn't such a big deal in my day. Being a blank fit didn't mean you were countless. It meant you still had untapped potential. In the old days, you didn't get many talent options. You either look over the family trade, had a family, or joined the guard. That's about all. So being a late bloomer was better. It might be meant for something better than peasantry. What kind of spells did you learn before tapping into the dark magic? So Set. what if... So what exactly can you do without dark magic? I mean, almost every time you only use dark magic, even even with your horn healed. 
So, if you don't personally know dark magic, what dark, what magic do you know? Next, what non-dark magic can you do? Oh, loads. I can shoot magic and lift stuff. Uh, those are the mo- those are things most unicorns can do. Next question. Sombra, were you ever a f- oh. Were you ever a fool? Or were you just born from dark magic or something? Sombra, why did you specialize them before you got Mr. Rude stuck in your head with all the dark magic to boot? Have you always had those sexy sideburns? What were you before you were banished? Sombra, how did you how you become world guard in the Crystal Empire? Ooh, lots of questions about your past. I guess it's time for dramatic backstory part five. Me, Sombra. Thirty. Whatever. Oh. Are we are we on the last page? I think so. <gasps> I was born and raised in the Crystal Empire. Oh, I'd hug him. My father wasn't ordinary, though. He was a unicorn from a nearby village. But he moved to the Empire to be with my mother, ri- Ribbon Dancer, a crystal pony. Iron Forge was a blacksmith and specialized in armor and weaponry. And stop breathing the mic. And why I never developed an interest in making weapons. I definitely had an interest in using them. Scroll down. Bryce, back away from the mic, please. Uh, we can hear you uh, breathing. Yeah, back away from the mic just a little bit. Bye. Oh, sorry. You've Sorry, I thought it uh, was. Oh, so I, I was. I was kind of fiddling with it for uh, some reason. My <laughs> destiny seemed obvious. Sorry, I'm a little confused with the mic connection. I thought. Ah, uh, I thought I was hooked to my uh, Yeti mic. My destiny seemed obvious. I certainly looked the part, and so it just I became. But no matter how hard I worked. I was never good enough, and I couldn't be the best I try at all. So, I... So my destiny lay elsewhere. Lots of late bloomers got their key marks serving in the Royal Guard. And with the ever-growing threat of war with the Griffin Empire, there was sure to be plenty of opportunity. In the Royal Guard by Coffin's crew, kitty marks don't matter when you're wearing armor. You just need discipline and skill. But I did not want to take orders my entire life. I wanted to give them. It wasn't until later, during a routine Royal Escort mission, that I was finally able to prove my worth. And I received the reward I deserved. As captain of the guard, I sworn protector of the princess, I had reached the pinnacle of my career. And while I was confident in my leadership, I was less confident in hers. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> We're done! Uh, that's it. For now. That's it. We have nothing to live for Is now. Here, does she look like a dull version of Cadence? I think she's like Cadence's yeah. great 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 grandmother or something. We have nothing to live for. She looks like Cadence in 20 years. Possibly. She has a lot of foals. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing to live for anymore. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> And we still have like uh, you know, unless we can find another block to mangle up. <laughs> True. Or, or or a fanfic. I can't 
believe I almost have like 15 minutes to stream too. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, yeah. I had an idea. This is something I had an idea uh, the other day. Get your questions. Um, okay, so we're caught up with King. Yeah, if you have questions, please do that. But oh, while you're, while you're typing in your questions, um, the other thing would be uh, if we say we catch up with another block, and then every once in a while we mix in the King song to keep it relatively current, and then we get that one caught up. And then when we have enough of these kind of strung together, we could just do like every week, just do weekly updates and then like of all the blogs and then just release them on playlists so that we have like, this is your King Sombra reading for the week. This is all the, the King Sombra stuff and just add that to the playlist. And this is all our second one. And this is all our third one. It'd be a lot of shifting, but when we got through with it, we'd have... Uh, you know, five or six, you know, I don't know, maybe every two weeks we update on all of them. I, I cut out? I don't know. For That's an idea. Minute. For a minute? Okay. Um, well, the idea Instance is basically... Oh, it, okay. I thought of it a lot of... Okay, well, that was... That was just an idea. Well, if we get up, if we caught up, get caught up with enough of them where we can actually make an entire two-hour session out of it, and then cut them down and put them in to, uh, you know, playlists. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. But we're nowhere near that because all we have is asking Sombra, and we have, he doesn't. They don't put out nearly enough for that to be a yeah. thing. I mean, and don't forget, we're just not, one. Don't forget, we're not just gonna be talking about blogs. I mean, we also do like fan yeah. readings. It's just an idea. Throwing them out there. And soon, when we find animators, we'll make animated videos. Yeah, that that would be great. I want always wanted to voice ponies. Uh, speaking <sighs> of ponies, Bryce, do you ever record uh, that doctor, that radio play thing? Yeah, yeah. I still forgot how it how it sounded like when I. It was like old like gentleman just, pony. Oh yes, I um, think I can. Yeah, I think I could still do that. Um, yeah, something like. Um, yeah, that would. Work. Uh, something, something, something British like. You know, I'll just do my own take. Um, yeah, I'd just do your own take. It'd probably be good, as long as it's understandable and not too raspy. What? As long as it's understandable no, and not, not too raspy. Think yeah, a well. male version of Granny Smith. <laughs> oh, we have been there. Oh, wait. What? What's a? What's a? What's a Granny Smith quote I could? No, I could ruin with. Say apples a bunch of times. Uh, apples. <laughs> uh, well, like wait. Other than the. Shoot. Uh, once upon a time, there was a bunny. So you have to look up quotes on IMDb. Uh, darn too. It's time. Time for some good old fashioned zap, zap apple jam. Uh, I don't know. If it's. I don't know, man. Wait. I'm a magical princess. Mm. Wow, that was close to 12 hours ago. The last battle. <laughs> I've actually accomplished something in my life. So we need to find stuff for next week. Got any ideas? Uh, let me uh, check fan fiction, see if there's any good stories. With a primarily male cast, I would think would be good. Otherwise, you're gonna get this for some voices, I would imagine. Because you can't do 
you know, I guess she could do all the voices, but it's it's gonna get confusing after a while. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got a lot of voices, but you'll run out eventually on a very female heavy cast. <laughs> True. Yeah. But we could always Especially do... if you do some the main six and Oh good grief. I my kinky pie is not that great. We could always obviously get that pie. Well, we could always do uh rule sixty three. Do some rule sixty three. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that would work. Wow. Or we just need to find more female members to the crew so that well, we can actually... I do you have another female member? We have one female that is never on, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a DJ Spacer? Or... No. No, and um, Amy or April or... Starts no. with an A. Yeah, that's some name. Wow, fan fiction... It's some female with a name. Imagine that. And a faith, probably. Possibly. We can't we can't I get, rule out I, facelessness. I said probably. I mean there's a likelihood that they have a face. Yeah. I would imagine they would have a face, but I'm it's not going to yeah. Film fiction sure has changed. There's no cover photo. I missed the cover photo. It was a nice cover photo. You got a lot of notifications. <laughs> yes, yes they do. Because I have not been on film fiction in a long time. So I've kind I, I of lost the will to write. I, I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't read many fanfics. I, I kind of got I, in the same boat because I have like I had a fic I was writing, but then I was like, I, mean, I started doing other things. I was like, oh wait, I don't have the time for this. So um, yeah, this is just going to fall apart now. It's like halfway in. It's... I've never. I don't even have a film account. No, there was one blog I was reading, and I totally forgot the name. But I really liked reading. It's about a uh, cross-dressing pony, but it's like really cute. But they haven't updated in like a very, very long time. Was this a, a an ask blog you're yeah, trying to talk about? It's an ask blog. Oh, was this um, was litter shell or something? No. It was, it was on my head, and it was like, it poofed. <laughs> I can look in um, fanfiction.net. I don't know, dude. What kind of um, do you want? Adventure, I'm guessing? Uh, really anything, but I find, well, my personal taste is I kind of find some slice of life really boring. And for obvious reasons, nothing really sexual. Yeah, I'm putting it K to T. Yeah, that works. Um, language, English. Oh, I can speak gibberish. <laughs> I don't think that's I a can too, but I can't. Speak. Let's see. Any particular voice you want in there specifically? Because I can look at specific characters. Not particularly. I'm kind of limited to the voices I can do because some of them are too loud and people are sleeping in the house. We've heard what we've got, so I'm... This is yeah, yeah. I've... Okay, well, can any of you do Discord? I mean, not in the way I do Discord. No. <laughs> Sense. We could always have you do Discord. Oh, what fun! What fun! Hey, like messing around. I Rule sixty-three own. Discord. Gotta have it. <laughs> I need my own no. computer downstairs. All right, I got. I gotta attempt Discord. Like, um, oh, makes sense. What fun is there in making sense? Is that is that all right? Mm. I do a pretty, pretty good heiress, mostly because. As a general rule, my um, my normal personality is Discord. <laughs> well, it's Q, but Discord is Q, so there we go. Exactly. All right. There are six point one thousand <laughs> using the limited filters we have. <laughs> So I'm going to specify genre one, adventure, genre two. Comedy? Um, how about humor, yeah. 
I almost said horror, which would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it might be fun if this thing lasts. If we if we hold together till Halloween, um, horror mm. might be fun. Do some Halloween fix. Oh, it'd be fun. How about? There's not really characters. any big events during the spring. Just, yeah. Oh, there's Easter. We could read an Easter story. Eh. You know, I, I don't think it would be that great. I once read a story called I'll give you a nickel to tickle my pickle. Wait, sir. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the funny thing. Wait, I, tick, I, uh, wait tickle my pickle? That Yes. You don't want to know what that means. <laughs> Sounds like something Chris Chan would say. It, it's, it's funny. Though. I've heard that before. I was, it's actually on, it's yes. actually on my... I have a reading out of reading up it on my YouTube channel, but it's funny though. I that I heard that back in grade school. I was I, I was reading it, uh, doing a live stream of it. And I was thinking, okay, this is gonna be really dirty, and it turned out it was a literal pickle. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you know, uh, like, I don't want to know. I, I, I'm morbidly curious though. It's like, get your mind out of the gutter. This mystery Discord, make... Discord makes an interesting discovery that during one of his Never. weekly visits with Lexile, will he use it for good to create chaos? Read and find out. There are 5,039 words. Oh, okay, that's not too long. About 30 uh, minutes. Yeah, it... It's mostly female characters, though, apparently. Rainbow Dash, Discord, and Fluttershy. Well, let me just do my best female impression. <laughs> I think that's more of a Granny Smith right there. Well, you're still a female, darling. Well, well, you know, I'd be Rainbow Dash, so. Well, it's just do rule 63. Yeah. <laughs> It needs to be about 20 That means I get to be Discord. Yay! I mean, I mean, technically... <laughs> I mean, technically the ponies are neither dudes or chicks, because none of them have genitals. <laughs> oh, uh, at, at least they're not... At least they're not drawn on them. Thanks, Faust. Yeah. Yeah, you, you clearly haven't fallen into that area of the internet yet. When you do, I'll throw you a rope that will be too short. Three uh, high-spirited uh, teenagers are set for the beginning of summer vacation. Only, to, uh, only for their plans to go awry as they suddenly find themselves in the land of Equestria. But will being stuck in another world keep them from enjoying their summer? Or will they make the most of it? Thirty-seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-seven words. That sounds fairly short. But then I, I haven't really read many fix like that. Thirty-seven thousand is not short. I thought it's it, got what? sixteen chapters. So oh, sixteen chapters. Okay. Yeah, sixteen chapters. So that could be one of the project ones. Yeah. We we should. It's. Totally read Fallout Equestria. <laughs> What's there that? There are a lot of male parts. Uh, that is a fanfic that has over a hundred thousand words. It's well, practically a book. <laughs> here is that. Fall of Equestria. My scuff can go. Oh, there it is. I just hope it's in now. Uh... Aliens vs. Pony, The Fall of Equestria. The Fall of Equestria by Lightning Strike Warrior 2. Lightning Sparkle and her friends have to find out how to save Equestria and discover a shocking secret about themselves and their mothers. Call of Equestria Black Ops. You know, 
I've never actually really played Black Ops. Mm, I've never played any of them. Mostly because I can never afford them. Mostly because I do not play disc games. Mm. I am a cartridge only girl. Mm. So in other words, <laughs> you haven't played any games for a long time. Account. Hey, hey, hey. The DS and 3DS are still cartridges. Yeah, true. Well, I do have some DS games. It has been two hours. And we have done this in nine parts. <laughs>